Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 122 of my Let's Play of Hamayui Castle Meister. Today is going to be a very exciting episode because I wrote a script in order to make sounds with my mouse. Those are left click sounds. It's hard to hear the right click sound because the game has its own, but well, anyway, we also have a scene to see. Seikyo ni sanet suru daihyou sha ga sorotta. Mamonaku kaisai de yaru. Junbi o totonoe yo. So, all the representatives that will be attending the Holy Accords have gathered. So, it's going to commence. Prepare yourselves and come. Now, it's finally here. Finally, indeed. So, the Fuchsia of Faith's five main powers have sent representatives in Guadalcuna Castle, and the present Godfia will be judged. And some faceless elf guy is going to guide us to the location. And we went there. Huh. Oh, we're going there. So, starting from now, or right now, we're going to be talking with all the eminent people, so she is nervous. Go on, she can say. At the matter, Nakadi, Jiban Kuraiga Takainoa, Kami de Aruaga Haruji, Via Samaditsua. Well, be at ease, please. Among the people gathered, the highest of them will actually be the goddess, Fia herself. So, is that really the problem? And just like that, is she supposed to relax? Well, it's true that while on a certain level, as a goddess, she is higher than them. She's also the one being judged here. Well, thanks for saying so, Rishu. <laughs> Actually, Mavaro, for his part, doesn't know all the details of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it all to her. As a representative of the Santa Shief Alliance, she is going to protect uh, Fia and the castle. Yeah, Castle Rito said that she had preparations to complete. So she isn't here for this. But we're thankful to Rishu for being by our side for it. And anyway, at the meeting place, there are going to be people that are already on our side. That's something we're glad for. So, Rishu, what kind of talk do you think this is going to be? Yeah, and with just Fia and Avaro here giving our stories, do you think we can do it? Well, in the final analysis, this is going to be how Fia's objective and the castle are going to be dealt with. So, among the five powers, it's best to consider that you just need to get a majority of them on your side. So, Avaro and Fia, in regards to what Shay should do, should simply speak the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, about their intentions and goals, and that would be the best course of action.
So you're not thinking that we should be putting on a show or trying to subtly manipulate them in. Well, more than you might think, putting on a show for these people would be, well, they'd see right through you. So, without any subtlety, just be sincere with your talk. So, if that's all it takes, Fia thinks that we'll be able to overcome it pretty easily. So, we don't need to worry about the final decision. In fact, Rishu actually has a plan she put into... she has already put into motion. Really, what's this plan? So, amongst the representatives of the five powers, there's one who's considered a swing vote. So this would be the one that has not had any direct contact with the castle. That is Rakshu, Rak, Rak, uh, Raksia oh, Kingdom. So whether we can get them on our side is the key to the match, or key to the contest here. So, the question is whether the Raxusia Kingdom will come down on the castle side or not. So, since I don't know anything about the castle, and because it's the Raxusia Kingdom, Rishu says she has a usable weapon. Um, and she does that funny giggling thing she does. Hmm, so. You're already in motion before the commencement has even started. You really are reliable, aren't you? Uh. So, this is the place. There's a big round table there. So, there are six seats. Basically, one for each of the five powers and a, another for Fia. So, if I was going to stand behind her... So, there are already three people here. A woman wearing armor and a richly clothed man. How nice. And the representative of the dragons, Katorito. So we meet eyes and she gives a little bow. <laughs> oh great. So, the armored woman takes a look at us and glares. Afia kind of thinks that she's glaring at us. Hmm. Say, that armor. It's from Influs. So, basically, the guy there is from Rax... Rax... Why do I keep having trouble with this? Raxia Kingdom. So having green as the base of his clothing is also another hint, they say. 
Hmm. So he's got this mustache. Obviously, he keeps that in place with super glue. And he does give a curious look at us. Huh. Well, we're being judged, so it... Although Risho is kind of been getting on his side, he still feel a bit uneasy under a look. And finally, the one at the top of the table comes to... <laughs> oh, it seems like I am last. Yeah. You fucking elves. So, everybody quiets down. Well, not like we were talking about before. So, we, the descendants of the God Fiusha's um, alliance, are gathered here today and think of it gladly. Hmm. So then, let us begin the Holy Accords. First, everybody, state your affiliations. Hmm. So, this person in the place of the king represents Introduce Kingdom. Her name is Jin Diu Fabre. And representing Raxusia, the Prime Minister, Grasis Spaziari. Interesting fact, he doesn't have his own character portrait. Apparently this is the only face we'll ever see of him. But Gina Dean also has this standing portrait. Different from the one here. As a representative of Santa C. Eve, the rule of Rao Rosso, Rishrenseri Rao Rosso. Fiusia Kyo Shotoku, Ryuzok Daihyo, Katorito des. And member of the Fiusia Faith, representative of the Dragons, Katorito. Oh, come on, can't Fia have a special portrait for this? Huh, oh well. So, everybody's looking at us. Um, we come from Gralakuna Castle, and she is the goddess of connections, Fia. And her apostle, the leader of the Gralakuna company, Avaro. And the final one would be Kurvans. Of the Fiusia faith, the high priest Kurvans. So this Holy Accords topic is going to be how to deal with our five forces. And stuff. So, once we understand everything and decide on everything, 
Once more than half make a decision, that is how the higher chords will come down. So along with a sharp glance at us, it's basically whether we will dispose of Fia and the castle. Hmm, how nice. So the first response to this would be the representative of Raksusia Kingdom. Hmm. So with regard to that, these powers some of them have separated from the Theusia faith and attached to a different goddess. Is that true? So, asking that question, this guy looks at Rishu. And Rishu, of course, has a response ready. Well, with regard to that, she knows the details of the situation and will be glad to explain. And first of all, she wants to disagree with what the high priest said, that our powers have split up. So, they have not actually departed the Fuchsia faith. They're actually working to solve a problem with a... solve an internal problem of the faith. No, this is getting pretty harsh. Jin Diu is saying that that explanation sounds like it is Rishu and them who have actually been betrayed here. Well, Rishu apparently has a response for this and actually smiles at it. So, do you actually know what you are saying? She just explained that nobody has been betrayed. <laughs> ah. You simple ruler. So, now she's playing the kingdom versus ruler card. Recall that Vishrenseli is the rule of Rao Rosso. In the Phileas somewhere. Yeah, in the information you can find out that Rao Rosa actually has a population of about 40,000 people. Or perhaps that was all of Santa Sieve. Anyway, it's not a lot. No, I think that was just Rao Rosa. Anyway. Influence Kingdom, on the other hand, has 1.6 million people. So, she's take talking down to... Grisha and Sally on account of the small number of people whom she represents. Okay. This guy is actually keeping things on track and asks Risha and Sebi what the problem she spoke of was. This internal problem she's trying to solve. Well, the first problem would be a certain power has tried to take, excuse me, a certain power has tried to take ownership of a goddess who awakened from a long slumber. So, in the southern portion of Influ's kingdom, the present god Fia 
happened to awaken. So, although Guadalcuna Castle belonged to the goddess, once they laid eyes on it, Influ's kingdom attempted to, well, ignore Fia's right to it and take it as their own. Uh, by force, no less. And when the goddess resisted, they called her the evil party in the transaction. So, what you're saying is seeing the Oh, running amok that Influ's kingdom did. Rishu and Sally decided to decide with the goddess and help her instead. Yep, that's correct. Hmm, yeah, Rishu's kind of working this into this direction. Although, seriously, Rishu and Sally is being so hypocritical. The first th important thing she tried to do was seduce Avaru into giving her the castle. Ha. <laughs> ah, but we'll see if this works. So, Rishu had already contacted Raksusia Kingdom to kind of lead him in the questions he, he needed to ask of her. In any case, the things that happen within any within any country's territory doesn't necessarily belong to that country. And especially if we're talking about a high-level existence such as a god. So, can you really say that it's the right thing to sacrifice your own country's civilians in order to get your hands on this castle? So, this is a reference to the Battle of Rickville. So, through some dirty tricks, they managed to get a wall of the city crushed by the castle, with some attached buildings also falling. So, that was a perfect strategy. And Fia, for her part, is not actually trying to draw away the faith of the Fuchsia faithful. So she holds the connections between people to be very important. And once she's made a connection, she cherishes it. And very godlike Lee. She tries to lead people on the right path. So she's doing the right thing here. And for that reason, the Raurosa territory and also the Santa Cief Alliance has decided to assist Fia in order to get her out of, well, the Fuchsia Faith's internal problems. 
So, once Rishi is done explaining that. Hmm. Oh, of course. She says there is a mistake in that explanation. So, nobody here is doubting that Fia is in fact a god. In fact, Mazteria, the Mazteria faith has confirmed it. In which case, we have to take that into account. But that is only the case to be concerned with in normal circumstances. If she is a fallen goddess, then the com then the topic is entirely different. So, since we're talking about the castle, it's not actually the goddess's power. Guadalcuna Castle was actually made by humans in the past. So, hearing that the goddess has merged with the castle to become a taboo, she should be disposed of, and when Infrus heard of that, they decided to take action against it. Again, messing up the chronology and leaving out some important details. So, are you saying that if, is, if it is to eradicate a taboo, it's alright to sacrifice your people? Well, it's a question of what you prioritize. If you move your army, no matter what, lives will be lost. If you're afraid of sacrifices, then there's no way you could defeat a god. Heh, <laughs> true. Heh. <laughs> and they haven't been afraid of sacrifices, and they still haven't won. Ha, ha. So that's the way they're going to explain their actions. Well, it's certainly normal for an army figure. <laughs> an army figure and a noble. So thinking of lives as having different value depending on where they fall in the social stratum. They pick a method of warfare without without regard to the consequences on certain people. So things to consider are not only the loss of your the troops that are fighting, there's also the lives of the people in the town that were also to be considered, if not utterly expendable, at least one form of weapon that could be utilized. <laughs> so, even though in the Battle of Rick Bells he was not obligated to help this this other kingdoms, this other affiliated the people who of Influence Kingdom there, Fia actually didn't give up on them and decided to save them instead. Are you saying that that was wrong? Well, that was a kind thing she did, but the problem is not that. 
The problem is whether she has become a taboo or not. So you're saying we are not to take into account the actions of the goddess or what happens in battles or the harm that falls out from battles. Well, if her existence itself is evil, then no matter good work she does, then she's still evil. That's rather inhumane, Avaro thinks. Yeah, but she's going to say that the ones who received damages in battle were actually her side. So, with this declaration, Rishu actually looks a little bit troubled. So, the losses to the Influence Kingdom. Are you speaking of the sacrifices you inflicted upon your own people? No. So, no! One of the royalty of the kingdom, in order to defeat the goddess, fought against her and died in battle. That is what she is speaking of. Ah, kills. Ha! 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 Isn't it great to look at him again? Good times, good times. Anyway, as the Apostle stated, fighting against the castle and in the end losing, Gilsh Rus lost his life. So, to make it easy to understand, this is a sin that you can't simply run from or make excuses for. And just how heavy that is, you should know as a ruler yourself. Yeah, the death of royalty. Yeah, I guess that's pretty bad. But. Risha replies calmly. So, Prince Gilsh's death was actually caused by a fall from a building. It wasn't a death in battle. In fact, he chose himself to jump out of that building. It chose to die by jumping out of that building. Risha herself was there to witness it. So are you saying we need to believe what you're saying here? So Risha as an ally of the castle was one of the people whom Gilsh was fighting against. She, by proclaiming that he jumped to his death of his own accord, could be trying to cover her own deeds here. Hmm. So, either way you look at it, because of our actions, the prince was forced to down a path that led to his death. So are you saying you bear no, respons no responsibility whatsoever? Ki- <laughs> 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 
And furthermore, for our side, there is a good reason we have to defeat the goddess here. For the fuchsia faith, there is something, there is an action that we cannot overlook. And following up on this, Kurvans says something. Fia is planning to infiltrate the holy ground of the Fuchsia faith, the God's Haze. Ah, High Priest, that is correct. So, without any permission, they decided to barrage through Influence Kingdom and disorder the people and the royalty as well. So, can you say there is anything wrong with trying to stop that? In fact, wouldn't it be more appropriate to label the ones being... Label the runs who are running amok to be... There's our side. The fallen goddess who runs on her own power. Mm. Who has taken these actions for her own purposes, rather. Ah, so this guy sees. And the ones who have been damaged by the actions of the castle are not only in Drew's kingdom. Isn't that right, Katorito? Within the territory of the dragon tribes, the castle also ran through. So that is correct. We the dragon tribes following the will of the god Fiusia yeah? tried to stop the northward progress of the castle with soldiers and stuff. But the dragons were defeated and many dragons lost their lives. So, hearing this, the Infru's representative smiles. But that course of events looked at from a different perspective actually led to a better conclusion in the end. So in confronting a common enemy, the Dragon Tribes united. So, having lost the previous rule of Shu Kettle, the Dragon Tribes were falling apart, and the bloodline that had been rulers for such a long time had an opportunity to unite the Dragon Tribes once more due to the actions of the castle. How do you mean that? So it wasn't simply uniting against the common foe here. But in their assistance, the castle was able to empower Katorito here to come to the leadership of the Dragon Tribes. 
ルシア様のもとで一丸となって戦う竜族として何よりも誇らしいこと And that is something to be proud of for the dragon tribes who fight,、uh, fight under the name of Fuchsia. And that is why Katarito here is, is grateful to Fia. Thanks to her kind art and actions, Katarito wants to support her. Ah, Katarito, you're so cute. So they managed to draw in the dragons. Bitch. Zehi Kikitai Monoda. Sore Hodoma de Shu, you hit Kiru Kamiba. Not the Sechi or Momuko to you no ka. All right, she'd like to ask this. Why is this goddess, who is so concerned about the people around her, trying to approach the holy ground at all? Masa Nimunda, you are so conyer. その目的ゆえに城塞は移動をやめず多くの同胞が神と関わりを持った That is true where the problem is Thanks to her goal of getting there The castle's movements have not stopped in their northward progress And she's been gathering If not power behind her at least a form of faith ピア様が目的地と定めピウシア様の神域を侵そうとする理由を伺いたい So, Fia has her destination fixed and now we get to ask her reason for invading the holy grounds of Fuchsia まずは神自身の口から眠りから目覚めその意志へ至るまでの経緯を聞かせていただこう So Let's hear this from the goddess's own mouth. Why, when she woke from her slumber, she had this will to head for the god's haze. So, All right, so she'll explain. So, she had been sleeping for a long time, etc., etc. Oh, crap. Are we actually going to. Nope, she just quietly and patiently explains the situation. So, sealed in magic stone and recently awakened. So, with regard to a certain human tribe's blood, she was able to awaken from her slumber. But when she awoke, most of her memories were gone. <coughs> And only she knew that she wanted to go to the God's Haze. So, as she's been headed north, she learned that she was sealed inside of this taboo weapon. So, even knowing that, Derry decided to continue on to the Holy Lands, Holy Ground. But it still kind of hurts her inside. <laughs> In the end, the reason why she wants to go to the God's Haze, she can't remember. She knows it's something that she cannot, absolutely cannot give up on doing, but she doesn't know the reason. Alright, then let's ask a different way. So, with regard to your infiltration of the Holy Grounds, is it because you plan to oppose the god Fiusia? So, no, not at all. 
There's no way she would hate a god that she had actually never met. And your infiltration of the holy grounds could it be a way of stealing away the faith that Fiusia has gathered? She starts by saying she doesn't understand the meaning. If he's saying that her plan is by entering the holy ground to seduce the, seduce the faithful of the Fuchsia faith to her, well, her faith, if that's his speculation, no, that isn't her intention at all. Alright, can you swear that your reason for entering the Holy Land is not due to your own personal desires? So that's difficult. She doesn't much remember much about her past, so she can't say for certain. But she thinks that this is for everybody's sake. And absolutely, the people of the Fuchsia faith will also be glad of it. She definitely has that feeling. I see. So, Coup Vance turns her, turns his gaze away from Fia. So basically, he's accepted the answer for what it was, for what it is. High priest, asking only of the goddess, do you not think this is insufficient? So. The introduced representative decides to look at Avaro. So, half elf who awakened the goddess. Influence Kingdom has re received reports regarding you. It's possible that you. Bearing the blood of the Maskis, of the Dark Refiners. Sorry, I was about to give you the Japanese name again. Anyway, she is accusing Avaro of following the Dark Refiners agenda and manipulating the goddess into this path. Is that not possible? The Raksushia representative flinches upon hearing this. Huh, must be news to him. Yeah, I guess that would be news to one person at the table so far. But yeah, he's way down south. Of course he wouldn't have gotten the news. But, Avaro says absolutely not. In fact, before we came here, we actually went to the home base of the Dark Refiners and crushed them. No. So, no. Ooh. No way. Oh, is that true? If that's the truth, then that is a wonderful accomplishment. Ah, it seems like this is news to more people. So, how nice. So, no, Joho, it's what he did. I say, Kyo, my knee, Scotto, Kono, Mimi, the key to you. So, there is no falseness in that report. Before the Holy Accords, the news has reached Kudvance already. Skyo, does he? 
ベルガラード王国における所在地を確認させた確かにまし風連の将の根城は滅んでいるようだ So using his messengers he was able to contact the Belgarad kingdom to the northwest and confirm all of it In truth the dark refiners home has been destroyed だが現在組織を率いているバーツラフ・ガイダルの所在は確認が取れておらぬこの件に関しては引き続き王国軍にも調査を任せることになろう But the current leader of the organization Václav Gaidal has not been confirmed to have been dealt with yet So with regard to this incident the continuation will probably fall to the kingdom the kingdom troops I wonder if he's talking about the the uh, What the hell is it? Belgarad Kingdom or the Influence Kingdom? Ah, well, whatever. So, hearing this from Kudvans, the two... Well, took good, took a good loud swallows. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. But... The dark refiners are still active in various places that's been confirmed that they their comings and goings are continuing. だが拠点の一つはこれでついえた。それはフィア様が打ち立てた功績と言えるだろう。But one of their bases, one of their fortifications has fallen. So we can say this is certainly an accomplishment of Fia and her gang. So, grinding her teeth, the Influence Kingdom's representative responds. Ah, it's possible that in order to manipulate things into this, the Dark Refiners have. Sacrifice some of their number to the cause. Moto no Kanke Seo Tangaiba Kiriga Nai Katte, Fusia Kyo no Naibu Made Kuikonda Soskida Ima Konoba de Kanzen Nike Paku de Arto Shome de Kirumono Nado Imai. So there will be no end to it if we keep doubting every source of information. The Dark Refiners have even penetrated into the Fusia faith. So here and now, there's nobody who can perfectly confirm anything regarding their final, well, final actions, final, how they're doing at the moment. <laughs> yes, it is as the High Priest says. But still, after all, we should take into consideration the possibility that the god and the castle are being manipulated. Furthermore, even if she has this accomplishment to her name, her existence as a taboo does not change, does it? それについては、シトドノの話を聞くことが判断材料となろう。With regard to that, the story of the apostle has important material to, to the accomplishment of that decision. どういうと Oh, so you're saying... 神の意志とシトの意志は同一ではないとの確認ができている。より明確な理由を持って心境の参路を目指しているとのことだ。So, there's the will of the goddess and there's also the will of the apostle, but they are not the same. Kudvans has confirmed. So he has a more clear reason for entering into the god's haze. この場で改めてその点を説明願おう。So please. 
give an explanation of that once more. All right, so now it's Avaro's turn. Uh, understood. So, I'm going to explain. So, actually, Kudvance's mood actually seems a bit different to Avaro. Kind of like he's taking the side of Fia here. Well, it's true, he's calling a, calling Avaro as a witness, basically to defend Fia here. Hmm, interesting. In any case, this is an opportunity for Avaro to make his explanation. Well, maybe he's just being impartial instead. Ah, oh, alright, stop thinking about this. Now's not the time to get nervous or to question Kudvance's uh, motives, but to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but. Okay, so, the five powers gathered here by a representative. Hmm. Ah, he's saying that someone amongst the five representatives knows what's going on within the Fuchsia faith, holy ground. And if anybody should know, we would like you to tell us. Avaro is currently following a speculation that he doesn't have much solid grounds for. But if he could find a reason to hope to to find what he hopes is in the God's Haze. He should like to do it without causing trouble to anybody around him. So he takes a breath, but nobody at the table answers. Well, damn. So, whether they're hiding something or whether they simply don't know, he's gonna have to continue. So his original reason for heading for the God's Haze was because it was the will of this goddess he awoke by accident. Even though he didn't realize the weight of the decision at the time, he got hooked in and cooperated with her. So visiting all these lands with Fia, they met different people and learned a lot of different things. So we learned about things, the goings-on in the Fuchsia faith and the history of the Influous Kingdom, etc, etc. Recap, recap. So, learning that the castle was something that sealed the god with the goddess within itself and hoping to find a way to save her she ha they haven't found anything yet but on their way to Faro de Oros, they did find something In any case, Avaro now aims to enter the God's Haze in order to release Fia from being a, a, a taboo existence. So if we go there, we may find a method to release her from the castle. So that is why Avaro, well Avaro and his whole team want to head for the Fuchsia Faith's holy ground. So obviously one of them doubts Avaro's words, but actually it's the Raxusia Kingdom's representative. <laughs> So 
So, a method to... Oh, excuse me. A method to release a taboo existence. You feel that there is a method of this sleeping within the holy grounds. Yes, within the holy grounds, the method of manufacture of the taboo weapons such as Gwalarkuna Castle exists, he has heard. So, sealing gods within them and using the faith within them to power their movement, these are the taboo weapons. And the way of making them is sleeping within the holy ground. Oh, I see. So learning how to make these taboo things, getting your hands on that, would mean you could deduce a means of releasing the god from, well, from it. That's right. If Aporo had access to the plans, he could reverse engineer it, he is thinking. Hmm. Yes, but... Why do you think that, that is it within the Fuchsia Face Holy Ground? There was a war in the distant paths that is said to have been started there. Hmm. Could Vance and the Influence Kingdom representative flinch hearing this? So, the human tribe that lived in the God's Haze at that time created those weapons and rebelled against the gods. That's why the method of manufacturer should should still be remaining in that place. Hmm, that's the starting point of the war, was it? So, his response seems to be fairly favorable. Possibly due to Risha's interference already. <laughs> I've always glad for it. So, following up on his question, the Influence Kingdom reference. So, if that is true, yes, it's true. Wouldn't you, all of you, whether we permit it or not, plan on going anyway? But, within the history of the Firu Influence Kingdom, there's no records of anybody actually getting into the Holy Lands. Why does Avaro think that he'll be able to do it? Hmm. So, this is another doubt that she's going to cast on us. That it might not be possible for us to enter the God's Haze at all. So, we heard that this was the, that the Holy Grounds were the starting point of that war. If we heard that, where did we get that information? <laughs> this guy has a speculation on that point. Couldn't they have gotten the, her information from the Dark Refiners, right? Yes, 
下の組織の本拠地へ乗り込むものでは So, isn't it possible that Fuchsia and the Guadalcuna castle she led, in order to feel out this kind of information, went to the home base of the Dark Refiners? Uh, actually, it was a little different. It's true that we heard from Gaidal of the Dark Refiners this information. But the purpose of our overrun of their home base was actually different. That organization was aiming for the God's Haze as well, and made to take the castle as their own. In order to end their designs on the castle, we took the fight to their home base. Hmm. The influence rep continues to glare at us. So they're thinking, she is clearly thinking that we're still connected with Gaidal. And he's, she's also still thinking about the, the one royal life that was lost. Come on, Gilsh was a dick. Forget about him. Oh, unless you actually thought that you were gonna marry into the royal family through him. Oh man, that'd be kind of gross. Oh, anyway. That's speculation on my part. I've always thinking about something else. But anyway. Avora has to speak the truth even though it's a bit painful here. Okay, in fact it was the same reason why we fought Prince Gils Gils Ruth. As the representative of Santity I've explained before, Gilch would not recognize Fia's existence and tried by force to take the castle for himself. <laughs> That's a pretty one-sided way of putting it. The question is, rather, who is to be the proper owner of the castle? So the castle was made by human hands, and furthermore it was found within the territory of the Influus Kingdom. It's only natural that they should be the ones to manage it. That topic has already been decided. Guadalcuna Castle is not the property of the Infru's Kingdom. It is already one with the Goddess. For this reason, it should be dealt with as the Goddess is dealt with. So since we can't separate it from her, we should already consider it as a god's as a god's property. And furthermore, since it is a taboo weapon, don't think that you could get away with, you know, wielding it for your own purposes either. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, the influence representative has been batted down again. I like this guy a little bit. He keeps the conversation on topic. 
So, he brings up the fact that earlier, I've all mentioned that the darker foreigners wanted to get their hands on the castle. Yes, that's true. So, would it be proper to interpret this to mean that the Guadalcuna Castle actually could enter into the Holy Ground? This guy is clearly trying to feel out the proper answers here. So, if he are having her hands on the Guadalcuna Castle this time, and if the darker foreigners wanted to get their hands on it, that means that entry into the holy ground would be possible. Yes, that's natural, but we naturally haven't tested it. So we don't know for certain how it will work. In fact, I'm taking it the other way. Without the power of the goddess and the castle itself, the darker finers also couldn't enter into the holy ground, possibly. But they were thinking that if they got their hands on it, they could. Hmm. So, Avaro takes a look around and asks a question. So, why is it that there is such a powerful barrier preventing entry into there. Would anybody be able to tell us that? <laughs> uh, Vance doesn't answer. And the other representatives also don't respond. As expected, that vortex of powerful winds must be some kind of barrier. So if this ceiling of the Holy Grounds is, is a true speculation, Avaro would like to obtain permission to investigate it. Oh. Hmm. And even if it's just an investigation to see if that method of manufacture we were talking about still exists, that alone would be sufficient for us. We really don't have any objective other than that. At the very least, as the Apostle of the Goddess, Avaro would like to... Avaro himself wants it. Since, after all, Fia herself doesn't have her memories, she doesn't have any other reason. And for this reason, because of that, this is the only reason we can cite for requesting permission. And naturally, we know that it's not so simple for you to simply give us permission. And even so, if the investigation itself you refuse to do, at the very least, we'd like to get the proper explanation of the Fuchsia Faith's motive behind this here. <laughs> what do you mean by that? So, if 
of our speculation hasn't missed the mark. Within the Holy Grounds, there really is a method of manufacturing the weapons. So, this means that the Fuchsia Faith is hiding the method of manufacturing those, these taboos. Oh, that's pretty harsh. So, the Fuchsia Faith has been targeting the castle as attacking the castle as being taboo. But if within your holy ground the taboo's manufacture could be carried on, that's a pretty big problem. Even the Mosteria even the Mosteria faith has set its eyes upon finding out what's in there. In fact, they're already at work, aren't they? If this is true because there is that method of manufacture within, they, the Fuchsia Faith may have set this place up as its holy ground and sealed it off. And if all that is true, the Fuchsia Faith is set up this place as a holy ground not because of Theusia himself setting it down, but in order to hide the taboo within. So, this is really annoying the Infus representative. So, are you questioning the good faith efforts of the Fuchsia faith? Well, if everything of ours says is true, then the possibility of them hiding something within the holy grounds is pretty high. Oh, you bastard. Huh. Of course, if we, it was out of fear that the techniques would be put to bad use, that would be one thing. But the proper disposal of this stuff, don't you think there's an unnecessary level of fear being put into this? Alright, Apostle. This girl here would like you to stop running these speculations based on your thoughts of what might be within the God's Haze. It's kind of true that I'm always taking that step by step along, even though his assumptions aren't necessarily true. Well, we don't know what's in there. Nobody does. At least nobody's going to tell us. In any case, Avaro says, if you're not going to tell us why you won't let us go in, then we can't simply give up going there. Also, Avar would like to offer each of the powers, each of these five powers, the opportunity to send a... a overwatch, so to speak, to monitor us while we investigate. If you're thinking that we're going to put this method of manufacture to evil use, well, you can easily watch over us. If we can just get permission from you guys. So we look at Kudvans for a reply here. So let's ask again. Why is the God's Haze sealed off? <laughs> it's the will of the God. Other than that, there is no reason other than that. 
if that's the case, then on our side, because the God wills it, is the only thing that we can say. Yeah, one God's will versus another God's will. Well, Kudvans closes his eyes and says no more. So, if nobody has ever entered into the gods, into the holy ground, then this method of manufacture or anything else shouldn't be there. If you have any proof of this, it'd be a different story, wouldn't it? And if there was something different within the holy ground, and there was no such method of manufacture, Please, do tell us. If we just knew that, we would be able to give it up. <laughs> so he's saying something pretty unbelievable. So since the goddess wills to go there, the apostle here no matter what he says, probably won't stop the castle. Furthermore, Avaro, even if we did tell him that this method of manufacture was not there, he wouldn't believe it, would he? Is it alright to think that? Hmm, well, that's true. Until Lavaro can confirm it with his own eyes, he probably won't believe anything you say. After all, there's no other way to know. He just has to go in there and find out himself. So, he won't be giving up. <laughs> So, his true colors have been revealed. Even if this Holy Accords comes down against him, he's just going to keep on going, isn't he? Well, that's why we're coming here to get permission. We don't want to do this by force. In fact, we'd like to do this in a way that... in a mutually agreeable fashion. Since you can't give, explain any reason for sealing off the place, and you can't give a proper reason for stopping us, if it comes to that, we are going to just push through on our own accord. But we don't want to do this against your will if we don't have to. We'll do it if we need to, but and that's how much we want to save Fia. Hmm. So even re with regard to the battle against Gilles, Avaro would actually like to say an apology for not being able to stop him from taking his life. So it's already happened, and we can't stop that. And we can't do anything but apologize for it. But we'd still like to talk about this in a reasonable way. So we'd like to make a request to the five representatives here. In order to find a way of saving the goddess, and in order to fulfill her wish, We'd like to request permission to enter the holy ground, the God's Haze. Oh, finally. We're putting it up to Avaro, are we? So Avaro bows his head and waits. So after several seconds, Kudvans. Uh, Kudvans confirms it and Avaro is able to raise his head. 
、シトドノからの心境の山路を目指す理由説明は終わりと見てよいか。So, shall we say that your explanation of your reason for going to the God's Haze is complete at this point? Yep, complete explanation. That's it. 承知した。これで各代表における意見交換が終わり判断材料となる情報は十分に行き渡ったであろう。Understood. With this, all the information has been presented and the five representatives can make their decision. こたびの聖域用における議題は理解したであろう。問うべき是非は、うつつかみフィアの望んだ心境の山路への立ち入りを許すかどうかである。So, the topic of this holy accord is understood at this point.So, what we're asking at this point is whether the present god Fia shall be permitted to enter the god's haze. その道筋に同調した者が、ユシア教内部においてたもとを分けた。侵入を禁止されている聖地に立ち入るという誘惑に敗れたのだ。So with regard to that objective, the fusion of faith is clearly split. There are those who won't permit the intrusion, and there are those who have surrendered to fears. Them. Arguments. So, let's go. 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 Be permitted to enter into the holy ground or not. So, Kudvan says so and gives a glance at each in turn. The first representative answer is Influs. Influs, O Kokua. Fia Sama was said to you, Momoku Biki, they were night of Kangaru. Influs the kingdom. Believes that Fia should not be allowed to proceed towards the holy ground. So, no matter who it is, the rules laid down by Fiusia should not be broken.、Hmm. So, opposing interests. The next answer is Rishu. So, the Santa Si A Alliance, of which Rao Rosso is a part, believes that they shall support Fia and her will, and believes that. Permission should be given to investigate the God's haze. And Fia's actions are proper, godly, and righteous. And the people who follow her are.、Uh, Showered with blessings and such. She believes that even Fiusia would give permission for this.、Hmm. Next up, Katarito. So the dragons give the highest respect to Fia's will. So, against Fia's will and her actions, they assess that there is nothing 
that deserves to be stopped. And if they could get their hands on the method of manufacture and make her not a taboo, then that is what they should do. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. And since Rishu got Raksushya on our side beforehand, we're pretty much set, aren't we? So, the one who will decide this... <laughs> so, the Raksushya Kingdom will oppose Fia's decision to go to the God's Haze. <laughs> ah. Ah. Did you really think it would go that easily? Well, Rishu is visibly upset by this, and Avaro is too. He didn't give a big physical reaction, but, you know, on the inside. Oh boy. What the hell? We thought that our our story got through to him and everything. <laughs> So, the will of Raksushya is completely based upon Fuchsia. And saying it a little bit further, for your own objective, they also ended up killing one of the Infrus royalty. Well, they've been pressing this on for their own interests, so that's kind of a bad thing. Hmm. Oh. So, what's wrong, Rao Rosso, ruler? This isn't anything to sweat. Oh, man. So, at this point, the vote is equal. The high priest hasn't voted yet. So, what are you so upset about? You bitch. We all know perfectly well what he's going to do. So, she's just taunting Rishu. Well, well, she's that kind of person, isn't she? Ah, look, look. Rauroso there. I knew from the beginning that this would that this outcome would happen, right? So this time she was just a bit unlucky. So don't get so down on this. Once you have more experience, things will be better. So, Faber. That's this girl again. Uh, I keep forgetting she has a name. She's like the influence rep. Anyway. As all of us are in a, an alliance after all. This time we should think of this young ruler here and try to encourage her growth. Of course. So, even the Santa Shie Alliance, who has turned their back on Fuchsia's, on the Fuchsia faith, even they 
will not be abandoned by Infidus. We're just going to teach you the proper way to do things. That's right. How about we start with this? The loser, like a loser, should ease up, should relax and send emissaries to the introduced kingdom. How about that? That would be a good lesson. So now she's attacking Rishu's long-held wish to be at war with Infidus again. Saying that Frau Rosso and Santa Shieve should be sending diplomats to more or less surrender to Infidus. Hmm. Yeah, she's just mocking her. So Richard grits her teeth and well, she can't do anything. But Avaro kinda understands what happened behind the scenes here. Rishu was probably found out in her ambitions here. So these three countries, the largest one being Infru's kingdom. Rishu and Teli was trying to turn Santa Sief and Raksusia against Infru's in a kind of alliance for Fia's sake. But instead Raksusia decided to turn against Santa Sief and side with Infru's kingdom. So it's all been a big political mess from the start. So with this, as far as countries are concerned, Santa Sief Alliance, being the smallest one, is also out in the cold on this particular Holy Accord. So basically we've been caught in a trap by Infrudus Kingdom. Instead of us catching them in a trap. Oh man, the irony. Okay, Fia, she is so sorry. Oh no, it's alright. After all, the decision hasn't been reached yet. Man, are you serious? Okay, 2-4 and 2 against. Remaining is the Fuchsia Faith High Priest coup de vance. Alright, we Rune Elves will naturally oppose the action. So, you probably know already without asking. Following the will of the Fi of Fiusia, this outcome is foreordained. So, he showed no hesitation in choosing this. So, that's our decision. It's decided. In favor two, against three. Fuchsia's, Fuchsia's faith will, as up to now, not allow anybody to go to the God's Haze. Alright, 
All right, High Priest. Now then, the disposal afterwards, please leave to the to us the Infru's kingdom. We shall move our army and take the Guadalcuna castle. But the castle's disposal is a different story from this decision we have reached today. So, High Priest, what do you mean by that? The Goddess's will has been defeated here. What's been denied here is Fia's will in opposition to Fiusia's. We will not recognize, we will not allow their entry into the holy grounds. But the disposal, how we will deal with Fiu at this point, is a different story. And will be different. Yeah. And will be discussed on a different accord. In the end, two of the powers did take her side. So we should consider this on a different on a different occasion. She feels that no matter how many times we take the opportunity to consider it, Fiusia's will will not change. Nonetheless, the accomplishments that we accord to Fia has had good effects upon the Fiusia faith the, and the people of the Fiusia faith. If we do not take it into account these sorts of things in dealing with her, then in the aftermath, it is the Fuchsia faith itself that will be harmed. That is a possibility he wants to think about. And what we're talking about is the killing of a god, a very important problem. Further, Fia's name has already been spread throughout the territory of the Influx Kingdom. And if we should make a wrong decision here, then in the various areas of Influx there will be uprisings. And that wouldn't be unusual. Alright. <laughs> so we need to choose our actions deliberately. Since we have this goddess here who doesn't who doesn't actually want to have a battle, we especially need to consider this. Unless you have some other reason for hurrying a decision right now. Alright. She understands and she will comply. Oh, great. Wait. This is bad. So, anyway, she's been convinced. So this means at the next Holy Accord, we're going to discuss whether Fia should be allowed to live or not.
Is that how Shui should interpret this? So, Torai Naraba. Zishin no Benzetsuni Yori, Hansu Ijo no Hyo Kaktok Stemi Serungai. Well, if you understand, then this time take care to get more than half on your side. King Kito Stesori Srukoto no Seto Seo, Kutsugais Kotonga de Kiruno Narabana. Well, if you can find a way to get out of the taboo thing and everything. <laughs> well, that's a pretty tall Howard, or isn't it? Huh. So, in the end, since those have got a seal within it and it's a weapon, Gwalakuna Castle is, without question, a taboo. Ah. Kotabi no seikio wa kaisan to sir. Zikai no kaisai no nichiji wa otte tsutatsu o dasu yue. Kaku daihyo wa pararearos nai ni te taiki se yo. So with this, the Holy Accords is dismissed. The next commencement will be soon, so all the representatives shall be residing in Farodayaros for a while. Huh, great. Great. Crap, this is the worst possible outcome. The worst possible outcome. I mean, I don't get to go to the God's Haze, and I don't get to murder a bunch of elves. I got nothing that I wanted. Huh. Well, it looks like I get to murder somebody. But that'll have to wait till next time. Oh boy, that was a long one. In any case, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.